So we're going to talk about now uh, the uh, Arab Pesach and still uh, just the, the first night. I'm not sure if we're going to cover all, all the ground, but we're going to do our best. So <clears throat> starting with a day. So it's very important. Most people, a lot of us, um, if you're going to the Pesach hotels, then you're not supposed to be in yeshiva. It's not for you. But if you're not going to Pesach hotels and you're doing uh, an, and you're having a seder, so you need to most likely go to Bubby's house because most most of the mishpachas they all get together and they like to hang out and there's a lot of seeing all the babies like you have to see all the ones that were born and then you get to get usually presents sometimes you get leftovers from Hanukkah sometimes you just get a lot of clothing that didn't fit everybody so it's always important that you're going to go to Bubby's uh, that you have to leave about an hour later than you should to make it there before Yom Tov. So if you're going to leave at like 11 o'clock, you want to get in the car by like 12. And you want to make sure that you pack everything. You have to pack all your suitcases, not the chametz dekuch suitcases. You have to make sure that all the kids pack their little suitcases with everything for the whole Yom Tov. Probably should bring a lot of the rosemary uh, hazelnut chocolates because you're never going to be enough and you're going to want to keep a stash in your room. If you hold that, you can use uh, perfume and deodorant and body wash on Pesach. Then you should definitely bring those along in a Ziploc baggie. Um, if you hold that you're allowed to bring matzah into the shower while you're showering and you could do gabrachs then obviously you want to bring a little baggie of matzah because sometimes it all gets eaten and you can't eat the shmur matzah in the shower. It's way too expensive. So you want to make sure that everything is all set for the ride. You brought all your DVDs, players, and Uncle Maishi tapes and um, the car is clean. Go through it really quickly before Tati finds a Cheerio because then everyone's going to have to take him to the hospital. And then you head over to Bubby's house. Once you get there, usually all the mommies are all waiting there with their babies running around. And they all go and they start tripping together. So they're going to probably be a little distracted. So you have a lot of time now to go and watch movies in the basement. So you can go and watch all your TV shows and keep up and see what the kids speak and all that type of stuff is happening. Get in all the hawk if you're like 16, 17 and you didn't really want to come because you're sort of off the derech and you don't know if you believe in Pesach. But you're also the Russia son, so you want to definitely um, go down and you can watch movies. You could WhatsApp all the girls and stuff that you're talking to. Maybe get one of them to break up with you before Pesach. It's a segula that you should never get married. And then uh, go back upstairs. But if you're like one of the helpers and you help shop all the packages so you are Tati's best friend and then you get to find out where the Afikoman is going to be, then you could go and you could do that. If you're a girl, obviously right to the kitchen. <laughs> But you could also be hanging out with Tanties if you're old enough. If you're like holding in the partial and they want to find out like who you're dating, you could definitely chill with them and you know give them all the info and trade that off for being able to hang out at the grown up table. So in Mir Hashem, everyone's gonna have enough hot water to take at least a five second quick Kaziah shower. If you don't know if you're gonna have enough hot water, you can steal some from the urn. But don't do it in front of uh Zidi because his mom is gonna think you put bugs inside and then he's gonna go to the hospital. So you want to bring all your hot water so that you have enough for that. And then get ready for shul. Put on your Shabbos socks. You have 10 seconds for, no, sorry, 10 minutes for them to dry. So you have some time to do a little pre-Pesach uh, shtagging on the Haggadah while your socks, while your feet dry so your socks can slip right on, your gold toe socks. And then uh, get your tie on. Make sure, Listen, the tie is not supposed to be down, down to your freaking knees, okay? That's very yeshivish. You're going to bring it up above the belt. And you're going to dress like a bach, you're going to go to shul. It's a very, very, very good davening. It's going to be a really funny speech by the rabbi. Someone's going to be wearing a matzah tie. He's usually sitting in the back, so you can sit next to him, and then no one's going to judge you. And just go and daven, and shag away, do all, do all the shalosh regalims, and then uh, we're going to get to the walk home. The walk home from shul is a whole other drasha because it's a very long walk. Tati sees everyone. So we're going to do that in the next Seder. But this is Mamish going to be some easy stuff for us to chaser, right? Thanks for coming to Sheer, guys. Your parents are waiting in the vans. Goodbye.